I'm going to do this way. I'm going to, to, to make the hookup uh, simpler, I'm going to make the capacitor here, resistor in the middle, and I'm going to do the inductor. I'm going to have an ammeter, and I'm going to have the oscilloscope. The X outlet of the oscilloscope is going to be just across the resistor. Oh, you know what? No, no, let me do it this way. Uh, this is, this is, this is going to be your lab on uh, Thursday. I'm going to put the resistor here. I'm going to put the capacitor here. Yeah, there you go. The X outlet of the oscilloscope is going to be uh, across the resistor with the co um, common one over here. And the Y outlet of the oscilloscope with its common outlet is going to be here again. The other one is going to be here to measure the, the total voltage of the circuit. Okay? So the Y outlet is going to measure B total. Okay? And we're going to be able to test out a couple of things. So the phasor diagram looks like VR, I, current and the VR are, are in uh, phase, VL, and VC. Now, for the purpose of this picture, I assume VC is smaller than VR, uh, VL, but it could be bigger. So now I take this and I put it to the tip of that. All right, they add simply because they're uh, anti-parallel, so they add like a regular uh, addition. This this makes this one smaller, and then you put the rest of that to the tip of this. So here, what you have is VL minus VC. And then the voltage, voltage uh, source or voltage total. Voltage total is the same as voltage of the source. OK? And here's the phase angle. OK? So voltage source is going to be square, square root of voltage R squared. This is magnitude again, plus VL minus VC squared and again the I comes out and you have this is known as the total impedance of the circuit which means total resistance of the circuit Z And it has units of ohms. Impedance. Units of ohms. Okay, and then the current in the circuit the should be. Let's rewrite it. Oh, let's let me just rewrite it here. I root mean square should be V root mean square divided by Z. So we can check, that's one of the things we can check to see what the amplitude, or what the Z is going to be, what the uh, root mean square current is going to be. The other thing I can check is the phase angle, okay? Tangent of the phase angle is going to be, in other words, this represents the phase angle between the source voltage and the current or between the source voltage and the VR. The VR and the current are in phase. So tangent of uh, phi is equal to VL minus VC over v, uh, v source. No, sorry, uh, VL minus VC over uh, VR. OK? <clears throat> sorry, uh, I should draw like this, this picture. This picture is a little inaccurate. This one should go. This one should go, the VL minus VC should go to the tip of VR, not to the tip of the current. This is the current. It go, should go to the tip of VR. And then this should be the V source. And then the tangent of the phase angle should be VL minus VC over VR. And then VL minus VC is, uh, this one is, uh, IXL minus IXC over IR. So the I, I, I cancel. 
So tangent of the phase angle should be XL minus XC over R. Okay. Now there's another thing known as resonant frequency. Okay. Now notice what's happening here. The voltage of the inductor is fighting the voltage of the capacitor. In other words, the inductor's effect is fighting against the capacitor's effect. The inductor doesn't like it when you change the frequency a lot and its phase angle is out of phase by pi over 2, the other direction. The voltage of the capacitor doesn't like it when the frequency is low, right? And its voltage is behind the voltage of the resistor by 90. So they're kind of, they're kind of uh, undoing each other's effect. Now, if I completely make it so that they completely undo each other, then I get the most current out of the circuit, right? In other words, if I make it so that, what's the minimum Z can be? Z min. Z min occurs, the most minimum the resistor, the, the impedance of the circuit can be is if, is if XL cancels XC, and therefore the Z is just equal to the R. Z min equals R, and it occurs when XL equals XC. Okay? So therefore, if uh, this one is 2 pi FL, and this one is 1 over 2 pi FC, that's called resonance frequency, when the effect of uh, the inductor cancels the effect of the capacitor. Okay, so I should be able to now um, calculate the general formula for this. F squared is equal to 1 over 4 pi squared LC, right? So F is equal to 1 over 2 pi square root of LC. That's called the resonance frequency. Now, if you remember chapter 32, the previous chapter, when we just did a DC circuit, remember? We did a DC circuit, and we did an inductor and a capacitor. And we assumed the resistance of the circuit is zero. And if you assume the resistance of the circuit is zero, we said that it will be an AC circuit. They'll keep transitioning from one to the other. And what was the frequency at which they transition? 1 over uh, square root of LC. So therefore, F is equal to 1 over 2 pi square root of LC. Now, therefore, at resonance frequency, this is the same equation as that. So. Different things are going on. Here, you have no resistor, and they're giving each other energy, 1 over 2 pi square root of LC at, at that rate. This one is saying, if you have an AC circuit, and you want the circuit to act as if there is no uh, uh, cap capacitor and inductor, if you want these two to cancel each, each other, so you make the frequency of this guy equal to the natural frequency of what they would have had if they were just by themselves. Ooh, beautiful, OK? In other words, if, they, if you want them to cancel each other's effect, then you tune the frequency of this to the natural frequency that they would have had, and they cancel each other's effect. And you're just left with the resistor R. Nobody else is ever going to explain it to you this way. So you're resonating with the circuit by changing the AC to the same resonance as their natural frequency. You see? So it's the same equation. OK, so let's test these out now. So the first thing I want to test out is if the current is works, uh, the, the current in the ammeter. So let's calculate our Z, 100 squared, plus